Uh, the government put a position to us in August last year uh, in terms of salaries, 2.5% plus performance pay. Sadly, uh, over 12 months beyond that time, we're still in the same position, where the government's position to us is exactly the same. They have not moved. Bailiou government seems to misunderstand the meaning of negotiation. It involves give and take from both parties and at the moment we've been giving plenty, we've been offering compromise positions, we've been trying to get this government to actually enter into decent dialogue and offer you a fair and reasonable pay deal along with your working conditions and they simply refuse to change their position. The Premier continues to talk about performance pay in the Parliament, continues to push the idea that that is the only way we're going to get anything beyond 2.5%. Let me be very clear with you, your negotiators, your union leadership has made it categorically clear that we will accept no deal that involves any kind of performance pay. Yeah. Understanding about the lack of respect, the lack of understanding of the work that you actually do day in, day out, week in, week out, year after year for the kids in this community. The only person letting down the kids in our community at the moment is Ted Bailey and his government. Just a few words I'd like to say. Look, I'm not a Collingwood supporter. Um, I knew that would get a reaction. But I'd like to quote Eddie Maguire. Um, a couple of years ago, Eddie was being interviewed and the conversation led on to the topic of education. And Eddie immediately commented that education should be seen as an investment. And I'd say that is pretty much what, our, in a nutshell, what our message is to our state and federal politicians. Education should be an investment. It shouldn't be run as a business.